It is currently around 8.15 in the morning and no one is here. So if you wanna come see this house, I recommend coming early in the morning or late at night because if you wait during the day, there's gonna be a huge long line. Don't even try to park near the Venison house because this is a residential home area and the town knows that people are gonna go see this house. So they put up this huge sign out in front of the road saying this is only resident permit parking only and if you do park in the neighborhood you will get towed or fined please be respectful of the town be respectful of the neighborhood and park somewhere else I understand this is a really cool opportunity for a lot of you because you love Hocus Pocus, but I'm telling you, please be respectful of the neighborhood and those who live in the house. What is interesting is it's not a huge hill like I thought, but also it's right beside the ocean, which is interesting. I never thought it was like that because they would always cut it out. It doesn't even have a huge hill and it just goes right out into the ocean. We're currently at Pioneer Village it's right beside the Forest River Park. Literally, you just have the park and then it's down a little roadway and then you're there. The only thing is they have very secluded hours and you can't get in on a weekday. This is in Hocus Pocus. It's the opening scene with the Sanderson sisters with Thackeray and his sister. If you can, try to get in. But like I said, the hours are minimal. I just wanted to let you know that the Denison House is probably a five minute walk, but a two minute drive from the Forest River Park. You can park here to go over to the house and then come right to the Pioneer Village because it's linked to the Forest River Park. So you get both at the same time. The location I was showing you before is the back way into the village, but the front of the village is literally right beside a baseball field. <laughs> really random, so you could go either way. Here are some people trying to get shots. <laughs> Old Town Hall was in Hocus Pocus. This is where they had the Halloween party and the Sanderson sisters did their famous song, I Put a Spell on You. The Salem Witch Museum is right behind me. With every museum comes a long line. See those people back there? That's all for this museum. So if you want to get in, make sure you got a ticket in advance and be prepared for a long line. And I'm here on a Tuesday and there's even that long line. Think about how long it would be on a weekend. So please plan accordingly. <laughs> These look like a bunch of rocks, but actually it's a memorial to those who lost their lives during the Salem Witch Trials. In 1692, over 200 individuals were accused of witchcraft, but only 22 were executed. So this memorial went up in the 1990s to dedicate those individuals who lost their lives during those times. And I think that is so inspiring. We are currently in the Burning Point Cemetery. A lot of the Salem Witch Trial judges are buried here, and also the famous Cromwell sisters are also buried here.
We are now at the Robes Mansion. This is in Hocus Pocus, and this is Allison's house. It's beautiful. And there's a garden behind, and we're gonna go explore it. I'm currently in the garden. It is beautiful, but I found something even cooler. There's a little free library at the Robes Garden Branch, and if you go inside, look, there's some books. If you're in Salem, you got a book to spare, put it in the box. The Robes Mansion and Garden have a little bit of a history. Salem botanist John Robinson, he created the garden. Originally, the house was owned by a man by the name of Samuel Bernard in 1727. We don't know much about him other than the fact that he was a merchant. And then eventually, in the 1800s, the Robes sisters took over the house did extreme renovations and then in 1912 they opened it as a museum and now here it stands to this day. I also wanted to mention that you can do tours of the house inside if you would like to, but the garden outside is free. Right beside the mansion is the first ever church in Salem. Isn't that beautiful? That store was absolutely adorable and also they were friendly to women who are more curvy. Wonderful. I loved the style. It reminded me more of the 1950s so I really appreciate that store a lot. I had to go in and look at it. <laughs> That place was delicious. It had that old diner feel to it, and also it wasn't too busy. I'm really enjoying Salem so far. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it because of the crowds and the tourism and all the tours, but it's not that bad. It's manageable, but I think it's because I'm here on a weekday and that's what I'm going to recommend. Don't even try coming here on the weekend. You're screwed if you do. Also, what's really nice is everything is closely knit together. You don't have to walk that far in between places. Probably the furthest walk I've had is maybe 10, 15 minutes. So it's also a lot of walking and you don't have to worry about driving all the time. And parking is pretty manageable as well. Something that I'm noticing is a lot of these tours that are offered are more old school. They haven't been updated in a while. That tour was only 13 bucks. 
and it kind of shows. So I'm just letting you know. That was neat. It was only 10 bucks. I thought it was really cool to see all the artifacts from different Halloween movies. Yeah, I purposely went in there for all my Harry Potter fans. You're welcome. This is the elementary school where Allison, Max, and Danny try to burn the Sanderson sisters. It has shut down in 1992, and I think it's a tenant building now, but it's still standing. This is Salem Common. This is the same street where they did some outdoor scenes for Hocus Pocus. Salem is such a quaint town. I've really been enjoying walking around. I mean, are my feet dead? Yeah, but it's so easy to walk around. And I think that's why I've enjoyed it so much because it's easy to get to place to place. I feel like there are a lot of opportunities for shops and tours and restaurants. And after a while, it kind of gets overwhelming, but in a good way though, there's a lot to see and there's a lot to do. We are heading into our last destination for Hocus Pocus. And I am extremely excited to check this out. This is the oldest graveyard in Salem. I will say it's a little spooky, just a little bit. I just saw something really creepy in the cemetery. <gasps> there it is. I thought I was gonna poop my pants when I saw that. Oh man, scary stuff. This has been so much fun and you think it would be over, but it's not. We still have one more thing to do. Well, actually two more things. We still need to eat dinner and then our last activity before we call it and go to our next location. I wasn't really in the mood to do a restaurant or sit down or anything. So I'm just gonna get something to go because 
we had to go to our next thing in the next couple minutes and we gotta eat while we go. Y'all listen, I smashed those tacos, but now for the final thing, we are doing a night ghost tour throughout Salem, of course. That was such a good tour. I wasn't expecting to like it as much because I'm not really huge into doing history tours, but let me explain. I grew up with a mother who was obsessed with American history and she still is to this day. So growing up with that, I kind of stay away from it, but I gave a shot in Salem and I really enjoyed it. I'm heading off to my next location. Don't forget to check out my other states and I'll see you soon on the two friends.